Hi, I'm Sundata, yet Willie Real Jr. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction System Integration and Architecture Series. Right now is our lecture number 9. Let's proceed to our topic for today. And it is the continuation of ERP, which is part. Under Accounting and Finance, functions with Accounting and Finance identify the recording raw data about transaction, including sales, raw materials, purchases, payroll, and receipt of cash from customers, planning and budgeting, cost allocation, and control. Another is, under raw data, numbers collected from those operations without any manipulation, calculation, or arrangement for, for presentation. Another is, data from accounting and finance used by marketing and sales and supply chain management. They identified sales record are important component of sales forecast. Another sales forecast is used in making, staffing, decision and in production planning and the last it records from accounts receivable used to monitor the overall credit granting policy it needs also information from all other functional areas af personnel or accounting and finance personnel records company transaction in the book of accounts it also records accounts payable when raw materials are purchased and cash outflow when they pay for material. And it summarizes transaction data to prepare reports about company's financial position and profitability. It also identified that people in other functional areas provide data to accounting and finance. So MS provides sales data, SCM provides production and inventory data, and HR provides payroll and benefit expense data. Now MS personal requires data from AF to evaluate customer credit. Now we have here the figure of uh, AF, accounting and finance, the same process, it goes directly to HR. SEM customer and then. now the accounting and finance functional area exchanges data with customer and with the human resources marketing and sales and supply chain management functional areas under the accounting and finance of its input for AF payments from the customer accounts receivable data accounts payable data sales data production and vendor data and the last payroll and expense data under output for accounting and finance we have payment to supplier financial reports customer credit data so let's proceed with human resources. under human resources we have functions of human resources such as recruit train evaluate compensate employees benefit government compliance another is HR uses sales forecasts developed by the individual departments to plan personal needs it also identified system integrated using ER ERP software provide the data sharing necessary between functional areas. It also includes the HR needs information from the other departments. It also tasks related to employee hiring, benefit, training, and government compliance are all responsibilities of HR. The HR needs accurate forecast of personal needs from all functional units. HR needs to know what skills are needed to perform a particular job and how much the company can afford to pay employees. Observing governmental regulations in recruiting, training, compensating, promoting, and terminating employees. So we have here the figure of HR which is considered to be uh, directly going to AF, MS, and SEM. So human resources, the human resources functional area exchange data with the accounting and finance marketing and sales and supply chain management functional area. Human resources, its input for HR such as personal forecast skills data and its output for HR, regulation, compliance, employee training and certification, skills database, employee evaluation and compensation. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and good luck. Congratulations, you successfully finished our lecture number 9.